and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super happy that you're here today. Today I'm excited to be doing another 15 ideas video and I'm sure you saw the thumbnail so you'll know that I'm standing next to a picnic for a reason. I really struggle with picnic areas and so I thought I can't be the only one who struggles with this and so I figured I would bring you a few ideas so that your picnic areas can be incredible. So let's just get right into the very very first island here. So here we are on island number one, and as we get started here, I do wanna mention that all of the creators will be in the bottom left-hand corner of the video, as well as in the description box so that you can go and follow them and give them lots of love. But on this first island, we have a gorgeous diagonal picnic, and I just adore the little pops of green here. Even the little shamrock mug that's sitting on that cart is so cute, and I love the custom design on that pillow of the apples. It's just the cutest thing I have ever seen. She has chosen to create so much depth with that um, mush table that's in the background. I just think it really helps to frame the area so, so well. And you can see that the rest of the island is very natural. We have a little campsite off to the left here, and it just looks so beautiful. I feel like decorating next to the beach can be really difficult, but putting a diagonal picnic there is such a great idea. For our next island, this is actually a no terraforming island and it is just incredible. Wandering to get to this spot was so, so enjoyable, but I love the custom designs that this creator has used in this section. The two little circles just frame the area so well and then we have this hammock in the background tucked into these trees. I would love to be here and love to hang out here. And then we have the cherry blossom picnic DIY sitting out, which is just so cute. And the way that this area connects with the areas surrounding it is beautiful as well. You can see that we have a villager house there, and then we have a wind turbine in the background. It's just so cozy and warm and inviting, and it fills this area so well. The way that she has added in the trees and the fencing there, it really does make it feel so comfy. Our next island was created by my dear friend Cheyenne, and I just absolutely adore all of her designs. It's just so soft and so cozy, hence her name, Cozy Shy. And this is actually right at her entrance, which is such a wonderful way to enter onto the island. It just sets everything up to be so warm and inviting, but I love the custom designs that she's used here, the little teddy bear and the Polaroids. It's all of these little details that just help this area to come together so well. And I love the little low screen that's next to that pillow as well. That's an item that I don't think to use that often, but it is so, so cute. I really like how she's kept most of the color tones here very muted. We have some subtle pops of color from the flowers, but it's just so perfect with fall time and it all just flows together so, so well. Our next island is an example of how you can make a picnic area feel like a full featured area. This is a rustic movie theater or outdoor movie theater, and the details in this particular section of this island are impeccable. I could seriously stare at this movie theater setup all day long. I love the Sahara ticket that's sitting on the wood bench and the little socks, the teacup, the ukulele, all of it. And the way that she has placed the tent off to the right makes it look like you could just hang out here and watch your movie and then just crawl into that tent and fall asleep. It's so cozy. And then she's actually kind of created this area in a little nook. It's actually near her museum. You might be able to see it in that corner there. And it's just so tucked in by cliffs and trees. It's so incredibly cozy. I just was absolutely amazed and the color tones of the particular picnic blankets that she's layered together just look so rustic and beautiful. I am just absolutely in love with this spot. For our next island, we are on the beach and we can see that we have a nice little cozy eating area with a big picnic blanket underneath. I love seeing people use the log benches as tables. I just think it looks so rustic and so, so cute. This particular picnic area is near a large eating area on this campground themed island and it all fits so well with the surroundings. I love the little pops of red here and the way that she's used different types of chairs around this little table area is so effective and I wanted to run up here really really quickly so that you can just see this area up top and how it connects. It's just incredible. It really does feel like a campground. It feels like so full of life and community and I just think it's so beautiful. 
for island number six, I should have grabbed my umbrella <laughs> before I hopped into this dream. I'm just kidding. I know we can't bring anything with us in dream addresses, but this island is so gorgeous. It's so full of color and we have another diagonal picnic blanket here. And I actually think it might be the same custom design as the very first island that we've visited, which is really awesome. I love to see people using the same custom designs, but in such different ways. And we have a little character running around here. Chef kiss would you like the special that's super cute and the, the feature of this picnic area is definitely this little house area in front here it's so gorgeous and I love the way that the lights in the houses glow with the little festival balloons it's really gorgeous and this area is a perfect place to just kind of overlook where those houses are enjoy some snacks hang out with this cozy bear I love this so much for our seventh picnic idea here, we have a gorgeous spring core style picnic. I love the wedding bench and all of the sort of lighter wood tones. It looks so perfect with the antique boots and I just notice I'm like creeping above that sofa there. <laughs> Like, totally distracting from the area. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I love the way that this rep's house is in the background of the picnic area. It just makes everything so scenic and cozy. And it's surrounded by flowers. We have a little teddy bear in the front and a ukulele. And it's just so beautiful. The wedding bench really does add a focal point to the picnic. And having something that's a little bit bigger and a little higher really does help the area to come together, especially when you're using lots of smaller items. And then just behind the picnic area, we have this little entrance to it looks like maybe a meadow here. I love those standees. It just looks so beautiful. All of these light wood tones and all of the flowers, so gorgeous. For this next island, we are on a peninsula and we have Shep hanging out here. He is too cute. He is one of my favorite dog characters in the game. But on this peninsula, we just have this cozy, dark kind of natural vibes on this picnic area. This is my bread and butter. I love the black flowers, the dark wood, that dark brick lighthouse. It just adds so much warmth into the area. And then we have a little bike hanging out behind that tree, which adds so much interest, I think, just kind of peeking out there. And then when you pan down in this area, it looks so stunning because of the difference in height between the tree and the light and the lighthouse. I almost couldn't say lighthouse for a second. Um, but I just think it makes for such a beautiful composition of this area. And it's a great way to fill up your peninsula space as well. It's just so cozy, a little picnic area by the ocean. For our next island, we are actually on one of my previous islands. This is Hotaru, my very first island I ever finished, which is a forest core theme. And on this particular picnic area, it is very, very green themed, rustic, um, with lots and lots of trees, obviously, in the background here. But I really wanted to tie in some of my favorite items in the game. I love the candle and the ukulele, and I really wanted to incorporate some little boots in there and the camp stove. Um, but I really love this particular custom design design of the picnic blanket as well and if you are looking for this one it is in my card which is in the description box below I had lots of fun visiting my previous island just for a second here it was just a little moment of nostalgia with this little picnic area in the campsite for island number 10, we are on a Grand Macor themed island, which is something I had never heard of before, and I'm so excited and intrigued by this new theme. But the colors here are very muted. We have some whites and kind of beigey brown tones, and I love the way that she has decorated the beach by adding lots of flowers in various stages of growth and weeds. It was so fun to just kind of run through the area because it's just so overgrown and cozy. And then we had Marty running around in the back background here he is seriously the cutest ever I can't I cannot with his blushy cheeks he's so perfect for this island but I love the way that she has layered the picnic blanket with the futon and the kids tent and then we have a stack of zen cushions and the bear it's just so cozy and warm and then she's placed a butterfly model and a decoy duck and we have another little cushion over there in the middle of all of these flowers and weeds and it's just so so cozy I love those little details like that I was just in awe of this little spot. 
for island number 11, we are on a forest court island and we have some really lush and beautiful brown tones here in this picnic area. I love the way that the black flowers really accent all of the dark woods. And then you can see that the creator has placed a diagonal blanket underneath the like sort of main focal picnic blanket. And I think it just adds so much visual interest to the area. And the particular items that she's chosen to display here are so perfect. I love the little ant crawling around on the picnic blanket and the shoes here are so so perfect and then I like the little serving cart off to the side I feel like I never think to use the serving cart but it just looks so so perfect here and we have a little mug and a cake and then the background items really help to frame the area as well with the barrels the candles and we have a little monstera plant and I can actually see up on the cliff there that she has actually placed um, a little log stool with some candles on top so it's almost as if the area extends to the cliff it is incredible for island number 12 we are on a whimsical um, sort of kid court-esque island and it is just incredible I love the colors here I was just absolutely blown away by this and the little details really do bring this area together but these Mario mushrooms and the yellow customization of the mush table these are some items I never use in the game and it was so so exciting to me to see them I love the way that she's used that little birthday cupcake sitting off to the side such a cute use of that item I don't think I've ever seen that be for. and we have a little dropped present a little pink balloon in a bag here and then this gift pile in the colorful customization in the background it's so perfect we have a little gnome hanging out here this area is just so whimsical and so cute for island number 13, we are on a forest core island and we have sort of dark and rustic vibes on this island. I love this little fish hook custom design. It's so cute. I've never seen that before. But the theme for this particular picnic area is very arts and crafts kind of inspired. We have this little art kit sitting on the table with a book and then we have a little ribbon just outside of the table, which kind of I can imagine that like maybe people are dropping their crafting things. We have a little sewing box just in front of the table as well and it's just so so cute i would absolutely love to sit next to this little river and just do some arts and crafts it's just so cozy and i love the way that she has placed the artisanal bug cage just behind and you can see that we have the rockhead statue as well which just adds a really rustic natural touch to this section of the island it's so beautiful for island number 14, we are on a gorgeous kind of fairy core like island here. I absolutely love all of the mush lamps in this area and it's actually an orchard. So we have a little peach tree and I love all of the blossom, um, cherry blossom trees, the cherry blossom trees and all of these custom designs on the ground. It's just so whimsical and colorful and beautiful. And this is the second time that we are seeing that log bench as a table here with some varied seating which is a definite theme for these picnic areas I just think that it is so so cute and actually this is a picnic area that doesn't have a picnic blanket so you could definitely create a picnic area without using a blanket custom design which is really awesome if you have already used up your 50 design slots like me um, it, you could still create a really cozy picnic area without actually laying the blanket down all of these custom designs that she's placed on the ground really do create a beautiful landscape for all of the designs on top and I just love all of these pops of pink it's just so whimsical for our last and final island, we are on a spring core themed island and this particular picnic area is tucked into a little cliff and it's just so beautiful. It's actually right next to the entrance of the island as well and you can see resident services in the background. I love all of these very muted pastel green colors with the pops of yellow. The yellow kettle and that little yellow coffee cup are so cute and then we have Henry, oh my gosh. It just couldn't be any more perfect. Henry looks so good in this little spot. He is just so cute. I wish he would have hung out for a little bit longer. But I love all of the light wood furniture in this area and the little bee apiary. That is such a cute touch. It's something that I would never really think to add into a picnic area. And I like that she's used the fruit trees as well here. I tend to only put fruit trees in an orchard, but it looks really, really cute here. Mix in with everything else. And then we have it here. We have her character. So we need to go say hi really quickly. 
here is May and she says, welcome. I love the outfit that she's wearing. It's so, so cute. But here we are back on Fox Grove. I am feeling so inspired after visiting all of these islands today and I'm feeling super motivated to create some more picnic areas here on my island and I hope that you are too. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider liking and subscribing and turning on that notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye!